Hello there, this is an optimization guide for Claire Obscure Expedition 33 and this aims to fix the crashes like the UE5 crash, black screen and poor performance issues in this game. Now, the first thing we need to do, and this is the quickest and easiest fix which makes the game run in DirectX 11 is to go to the library of the launcher that you have the game in and go to the manage here if you have the game on Epic. I'll show you on Steam as well. Now you just go ahead and add this hyphen DX11, the launch options. Now for Steam, you go ahead and open Steam, go to the library, find your game, then go to its properties and add it here in the launch options, hyphen DX11. Now the results for this may be different for you. If you have newer cards like the RTX cards, you may notice poor performance while doing this but no crashes. But with older cards like mine for example, a GTX 1060 is what I used. Uh, it gave me a huge performance boost, so it's worth using. But if this is not something that you wish to do, I'll show you other solutions which work with DirectX 12. I want to further add this part here to make the DX11 changes to the non-Steam and non-Epic versions of the game, like the Game Pass version or any other. You just go to where the game is installed and locate this file right here and you create E8, a shortcut for it. While you are here, you can go to the properties of the executable and enable this option, disable full screen optimizations. Now for the shortcut, if you've already added the DX11 launch option, you don't have to do this for this shortcut, but this is for the Game Pass version. You go to the properties of the shortcut and towards the end of the target, you add one space, then hyphen DX11 and apply OK. And you can launch the game through the shortcut. Now the following fixes throughout the video will be only for the DX12, DirectX12, except for the Windows Defender part, which is going to be in the minute three. So what you need to do here is to go to the following directory. In this PC, you navigate to the users folder, which should be in the C drive, users, and for you to find your username, for you it's going to be different, it's not going to be the same as mine, you just click on the start menu, you'll see it here, then go to the app data folder, now to show it, it's going to be hidden by default, so make sure this folder option is checked, show hidden items and folders, then open it, then go to the local folder, then scroll down until you find this folder right here, then config, and you'll find this config file. Edit it with a text editor of your choice, then scroll all the way down and add a space or two. What we'll add here is some code that will disable the software Lumen and Nanite ray tracing effects, and these are disabled by default in the DirectX 11, so you don't have to do it for DirectX 11. After that, we go to our start menu and search up Windows Defender or just Defender. Then we go to the virus and threat protections and disable real-time protection. Now, this is just while playing the game and not doing anything else, like surfing the web, which may endanger your PC. So enable it once after you're done playing the game. Now, the following fix is for people that don't have much RAM. Now I tested the game and it uses 16 gigabytes easily. So if you have 16 or less, make sure you have enough page file size. You can change it through the following path and settings I went through here. Then go and select your fastest drive. Usually it's going to be C since that's my NVMe. Then go to the custom here and set it to 9000. If you have 16 gigs, then click on OK, set and OK and restart your PC. But if you have 32 gigs or more, just set it to auto and that should be fine. Now an extra tip here for people with AMD cards, you can revert back to an older version of your AMD graphic card driver. Now I won't be showing you this here since this is beyond the scope of this tutorial. So you can go back and see older drivers, install them and try them out if you have AMD. Now the final fix here is by installing a mod. I will leave this link to this mod in the video description. You just select one of these two. I recommend the first one. The second one is experimental, as it says. Then just download this after you log in or sign up if you don't have an account. Then go ahead and extract this file from this archive that we downloaded. 
I'll drag it here to my desktop. Then we go to where the game is installed. For me, it's installed right here in the games folder. Then we navigate to the following folder, content, then packs. And in here, we create a folder and we name it just like in the description of the mod. Just copy and paste it here. Then we go ahead and open it and drag and drop the file. Now, once we launch the game, it should take effect. Do not do this mod with DirectX 11. I have tried it and it makes the game crash and you can't really load into any of your save files. So do this only for DirectX 12 and that should be it. I hope this video helped you out and peace out.